Anybody want some peaches? Sweet and juicy. I was supposed to go to watch a rocket launch. That's right, I drove almost all the way up. I got to within about 55 miles of it. The mission was scrubbed. So anyway, on my way back, I decided, I said, you know what, I'll take a little bit of the scenic route back. And I've really never been to Vero Beach or Sebastian. And I've heard a lot of good things about the uh, Sebastian Inlet. I'm like, you know what? Let me go someplace I've never been to. Dylan. Hello? Hi, son. How are you? Oh, I'm good. It's good to hear from you. How are you and what's going on? Dylan's on the phone. Hold on. I'm, so I'm going to talk to him. Okay, guys. I had to pull over. Sorry for the interruption. But listen, when your kid calls you from the Navy, he's on a ship and it's 3 o'clock in the morning where he's at, you answer the phone. All right, let's go. He's doing great, by the way. And I'm really proud of him. He's doing a great job. Out at sea. This to the left here is called Pelican Island. And it is a wildlife refuge. I love the tiki hut at the end of the dock. Welcome to the real Florida. For your protection, rules are enforced. Wow, man, this looks uh, pretty desolate, I'm happy to say. I hope I'm at the right place. And I'm gonna ask these people. Do you need help? Ma'am, do you need some help? No? Hold on. No? Oh, okay. I, do you guys know, is this Sebastian Inlet here? It's just burning my... While well, you moved that, you're messing my board up. It just dented it. But it's right there. Sebastian Inlet had the bridge going over it. Okay. Thank you. You sure you don't need assistance, guys? I'd be happy to help you. Awesome. You're welcome. Would you guys mind if I asked you a question or two for my for my YouTube channel? Because you guys are local experts here, right? Do you guys live in Sebastian? In, in, well, first of all, the first question I got is, where exactly am I? Am I in Vero Beach or am I in Sebastian? I was going to tell you that you're in Vero Beach, but you are you are because you are in Indian River County. Right. So until you cross that bridge, and right. then you go into Brevard County. Okay. The State Inlet Park is on both sides of the bridge. I say. So you Inlet State Park, and it's all part of the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge. I, I passed that. I saw that. That it's must all, be really it's cool. All conservation land. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, because I wasn't sure when I put it in the GPS. It said Sebastian Inlet, Vero Beach, and I'm like, yeah, no. that's false advertising. So there's two sides to it. You yeah. could be on the on the uh -huh. Vero Beach side of the inlet. You could be on the Sebastian side. The other side or the Brevard side. But they name it Sebastian Inlet for right. Sebastian. It's in, right in front of Sebastian. It actually defines the border between Brevard and Indian River County. And oh, it I has got its you. own tax district, believe it or not. So it's what is? Tax district. That's interesting. What is Sebastian known for? What fishing? would you go? fishing? Surfing. Uh, and the <laughs> Pelican Park. The yeah, guy yeah. Who yeah. Pelican this area made that they ended up making it a refuge it's the first the national birds. wildlife refuge in the country it was really the pelicans who are getting hunted to extinction for european fashion unbelievable i gotta go check that out yeah. while i'm here because all i ever heard about sebastian coming from south florida was surfing that people actually come here so to surf. Is, okay, this so he surfs all world. the time yeah. but he just really? got through having a tree fall on his leg. oh good game. god yes okay. Look. All the way up here. Oh the, my they put the plane lord! In here yeah, and they yeah. screwed it off. Did it affect you? That's the femur, right? Yeah. That bone. Did it affect that? Because that's the biggest half. bone in your body. So he had <gasps> to surf in two uh, months since that happened. We just got home. Wow. And so I brought my surfboard because it's the lightest one. Yeah. And he can at least paddle out on it. 
and lay down on it. Anyway, no weight on surfer. the knee yet. Though. He's the all-American surfer dude, isn't he? Yes, he is. He, I, he is. Not really, no. Uh, I love it. I, I surf along board and, and uh, it's good for that here. So the surfing here is actually, I mean, it's not California maybe yeah, or other so places. No, some of the best surfers no, in the world. No, but what's that guy, Kelly? Yeah, Kelly, uh, most, most of the best surfers in the world learn to surf up here. Really? Clark County, yeah. Like Kelly Slater is like the top dude. Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. So he learned right here. Yep. That's yeah. interesting. He surfed all up and down. Of all places. So if you had to say in closing one thing that people should see before they, they leave this area. I, I would say the Pelican Island uh, National Wildlife Refuge driving over the bridge and looking at the ocean. I did yeah, that. You're, you're that is, be, you're right. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's that, that is a sight to behold. Ah, there you go. There's the inlet in the beach. Look at that. Dolphins that are in the lagoon. Yeah, dolphins in the lagoon. Really? And the white Manatees. pelicans in the winter. The Lots of sea we turtles. We get the around. white. You know, you have regular pelicans. Yeah. There's a flock of white pelicans that come here in the winter. Every They're year, beautiful. November. They're like twice the size of a regular pelican. Wow. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are. That's funny because they know me. I always say, "Come on, pelican." <laughs> but I have pelican. There you go. Are you born and raised here? Or are you from somewhere else? Because yeah. most people are from somewhere else. I lived in northern Virginia in the mountains of Virginia until 2001 when I moved here to Florida. So every time we go up to Virginia to his property there and he turns from surfer into lumberjack, ah. we end up in the ER. <laughs> Stay away from the lumber. Yeah, right, exactly. George and what was your name? Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. So wonderful to meet you guys. Thank you for your friendliness. That's always great. So how do we, we get on your thing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a card right All now. Right, All right, guys. This looks interesting. Wow, look at that. I hear the ocean. Very natural looking beach setting here. Not a lot of people. It's another gorgeous Florida day. Okay guys, so today's mission, now that the space launch mission is scrubbed, make our way down to the pier by way of the beach, along the shore. Let's see what adventures we can have. How you doing? Good, catch anything? Not yet. Not what, what you going for out here? I'm always looking for pompano bass. Pompano. Pompano seems to be the popular fish that everybody likes to catch. All the way, I went all the way up to uh, Fernandina Beach and they were going for it there too as I get wet. But I have heard good things about fishing and surfing here. It's a little choppy today. Nothing incredible as far as the size of the waves, but not too shabby either. It's funny, guys, how you make your plans and your day turns out you're doing something completely different that you weren't expecting to do. And if you have to have an alternate plan, this sure is a good one. And I was hoping that by now, I'd be watching a rocket take off to outer space. Instead, I'm walking along the shores of Sebastian Inlet, taking in the views along with these fine people. Oh, these guys got it going on here. They got the whole rig. They know what they're doing. They scrubbed the mission. So are you still looking yeah, for yeah. it, right? Just in case. Oh, they, did, they, did, they, scrubbed they scrubbed it. That's why I'm here. That is. I would. That is. They, 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 they canceled the mission. Yeah, they scrubbed it because of a uh, hydrogen leak. Really? In the lines. Yeah. So, 500,000 people they were expecting here today. That are all gonna go home disappointed. So at least we're on the beach. 
We're fishing. What do we? Well, there you go. What are we eating for lunch today? Shark man, we can catch the shark. We gonna eat that. Well, my brother knows that. My dad knows that. Why? Wait, hold on a second. You eat shark? Yeah, man. You cut up the fins. You can eat them just like that. Cut a nice little fin soup, man. You do real. I knew about that shark fin soup. I knew about that. I had that in a couple of Chinese restaurants. Stingrays. That's another story, man. Oh yeah, you got. They. I heard they cut. They cut the wings out in circles and tell people it's scallops. It's. They lie to people and say we got some good scallops for you. They're eating uh, sea ray wings. <laughs> so I don't know. Have you caught anything yet? Um, we caught puffer fish. We caught a red fish. My brother just snapped his line like three times already. Really? Yes. Yeah, so now we just got more weight. So we're trying to get some, man. Bring over dinner. So bring over dinner. there you go. So you, it snapped the line because something big was on the line. Shark, it's most likely. A shark. Most likely. That's why we got the threaded line on here so it doesn't break it. But it's still cutting it though. It's yeah, those good. sharks, they put up a good fight. What uh, what what species of shark it's is gonna it? It's going to be a... Um, uh, bonnet head. Bonnet heads is what we usually catch out here, and it's usually bonnet head. Yeah, they're about that big, and then they get way bigger. We caught like five bonnet heads from here. At one time. This is the same. That's, that's a first for me. I never even heard of a bonnet head. I know, like but they look, they look like hammerheads. Yeah, it's got look, the hammer too. Yeah, it looks just like we thought it was a hammerhead. We had to look it up. It's a bonnet head shark. Man. My like goodness. It. So, but you will eat what you catch. Oh yeah, man. Trust me. Really. It, 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 anything we catch, we try to cook it as much as possible. We got a family. Feed. What does what? There you go. What does a uh, shark taste like? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't say it. Tastes just like chicken, chicken it's, of the it's sea. Very chewy. It's it's very it's, tough. It's, it's tough. Like tough, tough wise. Okay. What about the jaws? You take the jaws out. You oh, keep those. My brother, my dad actually has a couple of those. Really? Yeah. And hanging somewhere in the house. All right. What's your name, brother? Cameron, man. Cameron. Cameron. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, nice man. To meet you, man. Did you grow up in this area, Cameron? Not really. I, I'm from originally from Jacksonville, but I live in Orlando. So we come up here. We go to Coco. Oh. We always drive somewhere out in the spot deep like. But the state park is where most people fish, in. and the Coco is probably the closest for everybody for land. Everybody goes there, but that water is not as clean. So yeah, but if you want, you yeah. could go to the other side. Exactly. And You're most equidistant. Don't most people don't know that. Like Clearwater, Mel Melbourne area has a nice little the Indian River wise. Yeah. On that side, so that's why so we want to fish where the where the happen is. The inlet is where most people fish at over here. That's where constant ha activity happens. All right. Well, listen. Good luck and. Um, Catch the shark so that when I go swimming, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. I'll see you lunchtime for some shark yes, fin sir. soup. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Mr. Coco, is this your long lost son? What do we got here? Oh, looks like a puffer fish washed up. Ah, oh, poor little guy. He ain't puffing no more. Ah, oh, this one's drilled. Somebody already got into this one. Wasn't me. Don't look at me, Mr. Coco. I promise I didn't perform brain surgery on your boy. It's so funny, guys, when you walk to these piers and you see them and they look pretty big. You're like, oh, that's not that far. And you just keep walking and it keeps getting bigger and you realize how far it actually is. Nice walk, though, on a nice day. No complaints. Surf casting. Anything good out there today? No, just puffer fish. Puffer fish. All, all over. I noticed a lot of them washing up dead. What's up with that? I don't know. Use them for bait. No, we can't. It's illegal in there. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Wow, unbelievable. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. You learn something new every day. The puffer fish are a protected species here. Well, live to puff another day. You look like you know what you're doing out there, man. Are you running a right now? No? Well, you had me fooled, I'll tell you that. Looks pretty good. What are we going for today? Anything that bites. Anything that bites. Anything, and tastes good, right? Well, if I get catfish, I use it for uh, crabbing. Oh, okay. You know, don't knock catfish. They actually taste pretty good. You fry those babies up, you know. I know. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Well, good luck, brother. So, catfish. I've had it before. And it actually does taste pretty good. But the thing about catfish is, catfish is kind of like... 
the sanitation fish of the ocean. They clean everything out, they're bottom feeders, you know, so it is kind of nasty, I guess, based on their diet. The catfish diet is very similar to my diet in an RV with a microwave. Okay, guys, we made it. Here we are at the Sebastian Inlet. It wasn't really that long of a walk, to be honest with you. But you know, when it's hot out, definitely it was good advice that I got from Melissa. Bring water with you, which I did. I mean, even if it's snowing out, you should have water with you if you're walking far. But um, anyway, guys, mission accomplished. Here we are, the Vero Beach side of the inlet. I guess they get stuck with the smaller pier. Well, I'm gonna walk around this and get on there and see, uh, see what's happening on this pier. Now what? I'm wondering if I could climb over this too. Let me try it. This thing's probably gonna be red hot. Oh, it's not that terrible. All right. Oh, this guy's got something. Whoa. We both almost fell at the same time. What do we got here? Was that a snook? Oh, so you gotta throw that baby back or you can measure it and then you might keep it. Nice. What's that look like? 28 to 32. What is it? 28 to 32. 28 to 32. So. If it's bigger than that, you gotta throw it back. That's kind of weird. Why is that? Because the bigger ones are the ones that uh make make new little snooks. It's too small. Yeah. All right. Well, good, good good that you guys know what you're doing there. Are you guys from this area? Oh, you said Orlando. Oh yeah, a lot of people come here from Orlando. I guess it's relatively easy to get here. In a certain certain sense, yeah, it's like two hours depending on where you are. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. And you're right out here at the ocean. Best fish in the world. You think so? What's the best fish you ever caught out here in these waters? Him? He caught a nice Cabrera snapper. Really? That's probably the rarest fish he caught out here. It's like a, how big is it? Like 20? It's 26. No, it's like 20. It's like a 26 inch Cabrera snapper. Can you eat that? Oh yeah, it was good. Snappers oh. taste pretty good, don't they? Oh yeah. They're I not catfish. People, people catch the live grouper on the pier over there. Really? I'm gonna walk over there and check it out. Fact. Thank you guys. No Appreciate you chatting with us. First, let's seek some shelter underneath this A1A bridge flyover. Get in the shade a little bit and have a drink. It's really hot today. High 80s, but it feels hotter. The sun is very strong. What is this? Oh, this shows you about the birds of Sebastian Inlet. Snowbird Sanderling. And this map here shows you where to find them in the park. How cool. Woodstock, brown pelican, osprey. Oh, the black skimmers. Remember we saw those in Jacksonville? He got one. He got one. What is that? A puffer fish? Yeah. Wow, beautiful. That one looks like it's like a leopard colored skin a little bit. Yeah. You gotta throw that back, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Huh? What are you going for? Um, red Can't be those. Oh, he's pretty. This and he's alive. Be free!
free, Mr. Pufferfish. Thank you, buddy. Don't worry. You know, it's great to see um, adults and kids alike out here fishing, doing their thing. They know what they're doing. They're very skilled and adept, more so than I would be. I catch, you guys catch anything good here today? That's all right. That's all right. Listen, you can't beat it. Look at that view. Is that some kind of view? Nice view. Look at that view. Pay for that view. Pay, yeah, people pay for that view. He knows exactly. Yeah, you're living in paradise. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow, man, those boats gonna make it under this bridge? Oh no. Oh, it's open over there. I was gonna say. They don't come over here because of fish. Oh yeah, they don't want to scare his fish away. There you go. Is that a Boston accent I detect there? Oh, Long Island. Oh, Long Island, okay. I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, okay, there you Which go. is attached to Long Island. Yeah, a lot of people I don't realize it. Bay Ridge. Go, I went to school in Bay Ridge. Really? I went to Adelphi Academy. Oh, you know okay. Adelphi, 85 Ridge Boulevard. <laughs> I still remember the address. That's how much I hated that place. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm just kidding. Something's just stuck in your memory. That's right, that's right. So how does this compare to Long Island? It's not. It's yeah. Paris. It is. Paris. It is. Paris. Look at these people on this party boat. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta get a shot of that. I'll be right back. Okay. Guys, look at how treacherous this inlet is. Look at that washing machine action there. You gotta really know what you're doing with a boat to get through here. And you can see the people on the other side of the bridge. Oh, and look at that little beach there that belongs to the park. How awesome. flying through here. I guess you have to. You, you know, you gotta be cruising with pretty decent power to get through these waves here and this current. It's unbelievable. Wow. Cool spot. How, how long have you been coming out here? How often? Uh, once a month. Once a month? It's a good spot to get away from it all. Yeah, yeah. You know? We got a little bit of shade and we got the sun. That's true, it's much cooler under here than it was when I was not under this thing, I'll I mean, tell you that. Not on the pier, it's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you trust me, I was just there, I okay, know. I was I was in the way of a few people, right, exactly. you know? Yeah. They were pretty They were pretty cool about it, but I was like, I, I don't belong here. <laughs> right. You know, kid from Brooklyn, let me go, let me go. <laughs> right. Look at the rush of water when you look this at it coming awesome. through. It's this, this crazy. Tide. This, this might be one of the most difficult inlets to navigate. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I've seen some some pretty rough ones, like Boynton, Boynton Inlet okay. is is pretty rough over there. Uh, was that Ocean Ridge, I guess? But but this is this is even more. You know, it's it's got more power to it. It's more powerful, I think. Whatever it is, who cares what they call it? You know, we're off. There you go. He's got the idea. Shout out to the boys at six three, man. Get the hell out. There we go. There we go. Right here, they know what they're doing. I'm about to go oh, you right. got another one? Oh, yeah. Was that the same one you just caught? Oh, no, this is my keeper. Actually. Oh, that's your keeper. Yeah. Look at that, <laughs> <My> baby. <keeper. laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful. Hold on, hold it up. Let's get a picture together with it. You ready? Hold on, ready? <laughs> and then, I'll, and then oh, I'll tell you where you can get it. Ready? One, two, three. Look at that sucker. <laughs> wow, we're going to name him? What are we going to name him? Snooky to Snook? Well, Buck, buck the snook. <laughs> All right, we got a winner and a keeper. All right. Now, you, can you eat that thing? Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're really? Can I yes, sir. Grab it right now. Didn't know that. Yeah, go ahead here. Touch it. They're slimy, though. Yeah. You see the little slime. So, what's your name? Nick. Nick, nice to meet you, Nick. So, listen, um, didn't think I'd be talking to Nick, holding a fish on a pier. I thought I was going to be watching a rocket launch. Instead, I got this. Isn't life wonderful? So, quick question, Nick. Yeah. Uh, I want to get onto that pier. 
Okay. It looks like it's going to be a little challenging to do that. What's the easiest way for me to do that on foot? Do you have a car? Or do I have to do I have to swim it? I do have a car, but I, I don't want to mess with the car. I want to just so I'd have to walk off over that bridge. Walk over the bridge all the way and then take a left. You'll see it goes into the other side of the entrance. But your pass to get into this part will get you into that part as well. So get you on no both pass. sides. I don't have no pass. Oh, okay. I broke it. No, I just I just parked in that free lot over there gotcha. and walked it because I wanted to get this anyway. Well, if you're not walking all the way back to Long Island. No, yeah. I know, I know. There we go. Here comes the New York jokes. Here we go. If you want, just walk right over the bridge and then take a left. It'll take you right in the state park. And so you have to get into the state park in order to get onto the pier. Yeah, that's really? the only entrance I saw. Is like the road to get in. But uh, I mean, I figure you can. Well, that's the problem. You see how the bridge over there? Yeah. Next, you can right. probably just come right down there because right, that's right. where the parking lot is. That's what I'm taking. The and then park. just walk over. Exactly. Okay. I love the fishing pole holder attached to the car. Look at that. Or it's actually it's attached to the uh, to the cooler. Incredible. He just drops that net in, guys, literally for one second, pulls it up, and he's got, I don't know, two, three dozen fish in there for bait. fish been a lot of hooks oh it's a bevy of activity over here what's up guys what are we catching today anything good nothing yet all right a couple of snappers well they always taste good if you can oh there you go you got one is that what that is beautiful let me get a picture of that for you what is that, a lane snapper? Mangrove. Mangrove. That's a dinner snapper. A dinner snapper, yeah, that's it. That's the best name. Tastes good. Let me just show, let me just show this guy. These guys are right at the edge of the pier here. Look at this. Braving this. Is it slippery out there, buddy? Not really. No? Be careful, man. guys i hope you enjoyed this little tour of vero beach sebastian and the sebastian Inlet on a beautiful day here at the edge of the pier until next time i hope you catch a winner stay well stay tuned thanks guys i'll get out of your way thank you for that appreciate it yeah you know me Sumpy. Blow me up! Thanks guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What a killer view. Eat your heart out, California. Okay, wait a second, guys. So George was just telling me about a place here that lives up to the namesake of the channel. So what is it, George? It's called Barefoot Bay, and it's a uh, residential community. And mostly older Three people. pools, live music every week. I love We've it. We've got like three restaurants in there, a golf course. A bakery. That's it. I'm moving in. <laughs> Barefoot, Barefoot Bay. Bay, and they had their own yeah. strip of beach. It's just two miles after you cross the bridge. Well, you right. know what? Private. I must be in the right spot. Yeah, you're there. You guys are the best. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Take care of that leg. Will do.